Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 56, Web Form Steps. Web Forms allow you to build complex, multi-page, multi-entity, wizard-style forms for your Power Apps Portal. In this tip, I'll cover the entity used to configure an individual page, Web Form Step. To create a Web Form Step, you are required to provide a name, the associated Web Form, as well as the type of entity that this particular step is targeting. You must also specify the type of the step, and for this there are five options. Load form, load tab, redirect, condition, and load user control. Load form and load tab are similar. They both allow you to present a form to the user based on a form configured as part of your model-driven app. Load form will present the entire form, and Load Tab will present just the selected tab. Redirect allows you to send the user to a different page, or even a different site, and to pass along data using the query string if necessary. Condition allows you to choose between two other steps based on the result of an expression evaluated against the fields on the current entity. For example, your first page could ask the user the urgency of the request, and then you could present two different forms on a subsequent page, depending on what their answer to that question was. The final type, Load User Control, is no longer supported since the acquisition of ADX Studio by Microsoft, so we won't cover it here. Once you select your type, additional tabs will be available for further configuration. We'll look at these in more detail in future tips. Other options for configuration on a web form step include whether moving back to the previous step is permitted, whether to enforce entity permissions, and a lookup to the next step in the form if necessary. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portal tip number 56 on web form steps useful.